I just had a brilliant idea for a secondary heat source. All right, so here we go. Let me walk you through it. We've been burning a good hot fire for a few days now, and the coals were so high, right? But we couldn't just let it burn down so that we could scoop out the ash and stuff like that because it was still so cold. We needed the heat. We needed the heat. And when your bed of coals gets so thick, yeah, they're putting out good heat and everything, but not as much as a full packed fire like this can. So I scooped out all of the hot coals. I mean, we're talking, they're really hot coals. And I put them into the ash bucket. And as I was doing this, I realized this right here is gonna to continue to put off heat for a couple hours, right? And so I just took it over here on the far end of, the, of this big living room that we got, and it's just sitting there, it's putting out tons of heat. No smoke. I know that some of you guys might say something about the galvanized steel, but I, we've been using this as a um, as an ash bucket for uh, two years or more now, maybe three. And so we've never noticed anything. We do this all the time. This is the first time that we've ever used it as a secondary heat source, but um, we've never noticed the galvanization burning off of it. And you know, if it's burnt off, it's burnt off it already at the bottom on the inside anyway. So, but yeah, it's just sitting there and there's, it is like straight up really, really crazy heat coming off of it. So now between that and the ash bucket or the ash bucket and the stove, we should be able to get this big living space really toasty because it's been around 68 inside here which is fine it's, you know perfectly fine but it would be nice if we got a little bit more heat you know get it up around 72 or 74. um it's crazy as it seems you know, it's anyways we like to keep it nice and warm in the winter but it's only about 10 degrees outside and this is a great big structure great big <clears throat> so anyways quick little video secondary heat source really cheap and easy i mean i can see the waves of heat coming off of it yeah it's wild i'm glad i had that thought anyways later you, you guys ever done that anybody am i the first person on the planet to realize that you can do that surely not <laughs>